On this Blue Zoo TV webisode, we are visiting Gates Chilai High School in New York, where aquatics has become part of the science curriculum and students have become the teachers. Hi, welcome to the fifth grade tours at the Gates Chilai High School atrium. Hope you enjoy them. This is the second year for the aquatic atrium tours and today over 400 fifth grade students from around the area have come to learn hands-on about aquatics ponds, the rainforest, and botany, with some fun and games along the way. This is the teacher, the main guy. We're up here at Gates Chile High School in Upper New York with our guest host, Dean Mislavekchek. Did I get that right? Very good. Dean, give us an idea of why we were invited, it's been, you know, we're looking for a great show. What should we expect here today? Well, we are in the process of trying to get our high school kids to teach fifth grade kids about science misconceptions, things that kids just don't seem to understand and get right using our fish tanks and our uh, science planters uh, to help them you know, understand typical, difficult science. So we have six main tanks here, like one of the ones here you're standing next to. Explain to us a little bit about this. Well, this is our New York State uh, trout tank, or New York State fish tank, excuse me. And uh, inside the tank, there are just native species that you would typically find in a New York State pond or, or a lake. So we're basically gonna see kids teaching kids today about aquatics and plant life. That's right, it's called informal education. It's a type of education that is, that doesn't involve books, it doesn't involve, you know, typical reading and things like that. It's, it's hands-on kids teaching kids about science. My name is Becca and I'm a junior here and I'm actually the president of Aquarium Club. So we're gonna start out here and this is an ecosystem. Have you guys learned about ecosystems yet? No? Well, everything in here helps everything else live. So it all works together, and therefore you get happy fish, happy plants, happy everything. So this is a dissection, and when you guys get older and take biology, frogs. you're gonna be able to do frogs and worms and starfish and a bunch of stuff. And it's pretty cool because you get to see all the different parts to it. This is my favorite tank in this whole room. It's our propagation tank. Now, propagation, it's just some big fancy word for when you take a piece of one of the corals, break it off, attach it to a small rock, and let it grow. And eventually, it'll become just as big as those ones. All right, now we're gonna move to the other tank. Now this one is another tropical tank, so it's fresh water. And you see those guys? Those are called a placostomus. We have the word up there so you can see how it's spelled. It's kind of a fun word, placostomus. I kind of call them by a different name. I call them sucker fish because what they do is they attach to rocks and the glass and they suck the algae right off of it. So that way they get fed and the tank gets cleaned. This is our hospital tank and inside of it we have chemicals that help take all the bacteria and all of the disease off of the fish that are in there. So we can put all the sick fish from the school in this one tank and they'll all be better. And usually when we have a fish in here and he's all better, we move them back to their tank that they came from. But here, these guys, this is kind of their home, so this is where they're going to stay. Hi, I'm Taylor, a senior at Gates Chalai High School, and I'm the secretary of our aquarium club. I feed our 200-gallon tropical tank every Tuesdays and Fridays, and we feed them so they can keep their color, so they're healthy. In here we have our silver dollars, the Picassimus, also with Pleco, the Mollies, a lot of other fish. So this is, these are lemons? Yeah, lemons. And I have to eat a couple and you have to eat a couple? Yeah, you take one here. Take one. It's just one? Yeah, take just one. Just one. So when you cut out three, you put it in your mouth, and you're making a face, and two wins. Ready? And how long do we have not to make a face? I don't know, until the one wins. <laughs> so you're gonna, you're gonna count to three? Yeah. All right. One, two, two, three. I won. Another <laughs> whole lemon. What do you mean you won? <laughs> you lost. I thought you were supposed to eat it. You know what? <laughs> you just lost. 
Jen just set me up. Thanks. I'm Scott. I'm a freshman at Gates Child High School. Um, talk about this 240-gallon reef tank. There are all types of things in here. There are a bunch of different fish, like you've seen dory, hippo tang. Uh, there's two oscillaris clown fish right there, which is Nemo. Yeah, that's a maroon and gold. Oh, that's a skunk. Uh, there's a bunch of different coral in here. Uh, there's a tube worm, feather duster, right here. That's actually a worm inside there, inside that hard tube. Um, we propagate coral, so see that rack up there? That's where they break off pieces and they put it on there to sell. Um, everything grows, gets pretty big. And there's also a diamond goby on the bottom. It sifts out the sand. This feather duster also sifts through the water, cleans out all the bad impurities. You guys got any questions? Hi, it's Taylor again from the Gage Highlight High School. And this is our 300 gallon saltwater marine tank. In here we have our Valangie, Fox Face, Picasso Triggerfish, Porcupine Puffer. And we also feed them every Tuesdays and Fridays. Keeps them happy, healthy, swimming around. Hi, I'm Mike Leinberger of Gates Chile High School. I'm a junior here, and I help run all these tanks. This is our propagation system over here. This is our main reef. What we use this for is to keep our coral fragging and to create new colonies. Up top, we have a refugium. It keeps uh, fresh water flowing into the tank and helps create bacteria back into the water. Down below, we have our filtration systems, bio docks, and uh, tubes that help reflow the water back up into the tank. This helps prevent our tanks from being dirty and it helps them to stay fresh throughout the weeks that we have them. Over here is our pelagic tank. This is all our aggressive fish at Gates. We have our lionfish, puffer fish, tangs, types of community fish that we all use these to show that we can have aggressive and community still together. Down below we have our, our biodox system here. It's, it takes the lights and let, allows it to go on the gravel and it still comes back up and then make fresh water. Don't miss the next Blue Zoo TV webisode where we conclude our fantastic visit with the students at Gates Chile High School and their fifth grade aquatic atrium tours. Have you heard? Blue Zoo TV's got a new crew. This is just to show you that we do have fans. Blue Zoo TV! To learn more about the show or to email us, go to bluezootv.com.